Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make window flips, window pockets. We're not really sure. It depends on how you'd like to use them. But first, let's have our shout out to Sheila, Shani, Robin, Shanthimo, Daggy, Kelly, Sharon, Lynn, Madeline, Night Angel 0515, Sandy, and Jules. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have some older book pages. I kind of struggle to use these guys. Beautiful colors, beautiful script, but they crack and they break really easily. But I thought, let's try them out in this project. Then I have some beautiful botanical papers, just like this. I like this book because it has the picture and then it has the name. And I find that to be really nice. Now these pages came out of this book. Spring Wildflowers of New England over with over 470 color drawings by Marilyn Dooley. There we go. This was published in 1973, so it's vintage, and I really, really find it quite helpful. I found it at my local used bookstore. That's where I purchased mine. So let's get back to our project. So let's take one of our pages. And what I want to do is I want to fold it in half the long way, this way. And right away, you can see how it breaks. You can see that it's all broken. In fact, I can just pull it apart just like that, just very easily fold it the other way, and it'll just completely come apart. I didn't have to tear it. So with this in mind, what I want to do is I kind of want to start and poke my finger through it a little bit, which isn't hard to do. And I'm just going to gently kind of tear it around in somewhat of a circle, an oblong, a rectangle, really whatever shape you can get your paper to tear in. Something that looks looks good that you are liking. I think I need to take this off right here. See if I can get it just a little better. Okay, that's not bad. Now what I want to do is we're going to bring in our book pages. So let me grab my book pages here. I have a few of them. You probably won't need them all. But I like to kind of set it to see. It's okay, but I don't really love it. Well, that's all right. Let's see what else do we have going on. Well, that's pretty cute right there. Okay, I like that one a little bit. That one's pretty. Oh, let's see. I need to try to find one that has... I need to go different ways with it. You don't have to have your pages be up and down. Okay, let's see here. Well, that one's real sweet too. Let's see, maybe we can find something just a little better. Sometimes it takes a little bit. I really wanted the words to be with the flower. But I may not be getting that. I kind of like that too. Alright guys. Aha, there we are. There it is. Catnip. It's the catnip mint family. Alright, so now what I want to do, I'm going to move all these off. Just like this. Now, they turn out in different sizes, shall we say? The first, the, I've made two, and they're both totally different sizes. Now, I'm removing that for just a minute. This is one of those ink applicators that's it's kind of like a brush. You see it's got little brush type, very soft. It reminds me of a baby brush. That's what it reminds me of, a baby brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit, now I've just recently re-inked my pad here. I don't want to get too crazy on the inking here. And I'm just going to go in the direction in which I, I'm not going to go across it like this or I would break more of my paper. I'm just going to lightly 
press, it, press my brush inwards like this. And I'm just going to take the white part off that happens when you tear paper. I'm just going to go around like that, just like that. Very simple. Now I'm going to bring my page back in. I'm going to turn this over and I am going to bring in my Tombow glue. Now you can use any glue that you want. I think maybe a glue stick might tear it, but maybe you're really highly skilled with a blue glue stick and you can do that. I am not. <laughs> glue sticks and I don't really get along very well. Okay, so I'm going to lay this about where I want it. I think I want it right there. And I'm just going to press it down. Oh my goodness, I think that looks adorable. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to glue the rest of this down. So I'm just going to add some glue to the edges here and just lay it down as well as right here. Lay it down a little bit over here. Lay it down and then right here. Make sure I get it all. And then I'm just going to press it down. I got some glue on that part. I'm just going to press it down just like this. All right, so now we look like this. So now I'm going to just trim this part off. I don't need this part on. It's not going to stand up to anything anyway. It's so brittle. Now I'm going to trim around here. Now do I want this to be this big or do I think I want to trim it down to where I just see the words. So I think it will fit in my guillotine. And I'm just going to trim it off where I can see the words. I'll probably have to re-glue it, but that's okay. Let's get that trim just like that. Now do I need to re-glue it just a little bit, looks like. Lift it up gently or it will break. <laughs> Very delicate. All right, so now we are like this. Now I'm going to trim off the top part right here. So the top part's going to come off just like that. Now what I want to do is I want to fold this right here. You see where my book page and my uh, picture book, uh, they, they're, they're not overlapping, they just ends. Where my book page ends from my, my wider page. I'm just going to fold it here, just like this. Give it a fold. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to bring in some of my washi. So I've got this washi here and my catnip's kind of in a purpley color, kind of, kind of a blue. I'm thinking maybe something like, I kind of like this one. So what I want to do is I just want to get the end of my washi here. And I'm just going to put a strip right here. We folded it, so it's just on the other side of my fold. And I'm going to trim it. Actually, I can pull it over like that if I want to. We don't even have to cut it off at the edge. Anything to just strengthen our paper in any way that we can. Now I'm actually going to put a little, I am going to tear this now. I'm just going to put a little, maybe, I don't know, maybe just right here, just about anywhere, and maybe a little going down this side, just like this, like that, and then I'm going to tear it, and I'm going to fold this over like this, okay, alrighty, I'm going to trim it. I'm just decorating it a little bit using my washi. 
Oops, we're upside down. Okay, we're looking pretty sweet already, right? So now what I want to do is I'm going to bring in a little bit of lace. And I think I want to just add just a little bit, maybe right up here at the top. I quickly plugged in my glue gun. And while we're waiting for that glue gun to heat up, I'm just going to run my vintage photo. Like I said, I've just re-inked my pad, and I don't want it to be too awful dark. I'm just going to ink up around the edges very quickly here, like this. And then I'm going to do it on this side as well, just like that. And then where I folded it, and then where I folded it. Okay, now let's see if my, I've made a mess right there, haven't I? Let's see if this is nice and heated yet. Not quite. So let's go ahead and let's do a little label. I have a few little labels right here. And let's see, do I want that one? I like that one. I think that's nice. Here's just a little number. That looks good too. And then there's this one. That's my least of my favorites. I'm actually thinking I kind of like that one. So let's go ahead and let's get this one glued down. So right here. So we haven't used a lot of different things. We've used our old book page. We used a picture book, a book of flowers, plants. We used some washi. We used some ink. I'm going to get ready to put down some lace here. So, all right, so my glue gun is ready now. So I thought that maybe I would just put a little bit of lace, maybe right up here on the top. I'm not going to go all the way across. I just want a little bit of an accent, maybe right here. And then let's give it a trim. And then I'll probably need to glue down the corners just a little bit. So just a tiny bit of glue. And let's glue the center and the other corner. Just lay it down, just like that. Oh, I think that's very, very pretty. Now let's see, um, possibly just a, maybe a little bit more right there. So, whoa, sorry about that loud noise. Didn't think it'd be that loud. And I'm just gonna add my glue right here. And once again, I'm gonna just lay it right down just like that, and glue down the ends in a couple places, maybe three, just to secure it. Now, this is how we look. We look just like this. You could use this as a flip. You could use it as a pocket. You could put your glue right here, here, and here and use it as a pocket. And this folded part right here will help lift up the pocket just enough to be able to put things inside of it. And because you've doubled it and you've used some washi, it's strong enough for a pocket. I think it looks really, really sweet. You could paper clip it onto a page. Here's another one that I made right here. Isn't that one sweet? Here's its flip right here. Turn it over and it looks like this. I added a little bit more decoration on the back of this one. And here is this one. This is a totally different shape. And it looks like this on the back. So however you make it, these are all three different sizes. So they'll just turn out the size that they're supposed to be is the way I look at it. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.